So some harder manipulations here. Now we've got sine squared of x and cos of x. Now that difference doesn't really work for us when we've got those. So again, we're going to manipulate and throw and use our result here to put that in and manipulate our equation down to a quadratic that we can factorize there. Again, if you need to do a substitution, that's fine. But we end up with two linear equations that we're able to solve and get our solutions there. Again, look for a common factor first. So sine x can come out. These are sine x, cos x in the bracket. Sine x equal to zero from the front. And we get our three values there. And then we can solve this one by sine of x being equal to cos of x. So tan of x is equal to one, we get our values. Again, this is just a straight manipulation of a quadratic comes down to the brackets there if you again if you need to fact you use a substitution to do that that's fine but we get our two brackets solve it like we've done our normal uh, situation uh, normal uh, linear functions before realizing that if we get cos x equal to 2 it has no solution so just be careful there and again sine squared x with a cos x there let's manipulate and put the 1 minus cos squared x in there get our just be careful of your, all your signs and I've swapped them around, that was, they were both negative, so I can make them positive. Factorize, get our equations, cos x can't equal minus root th um, 3 on 2.